What's going on, Taurus? It's your girl, D here with 8th House Energy, here to bring you your uh, June 2021 reading. Uh, I hope all is well in the Taurus community. I do want to thank you guys who continue to come to the channel and show your love. I want to thank you so much for all you do for the channel, all the energy that you bring. Uh, for those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. Hopefully, you will um, check out the content and you'll find that there is a variety of content. So hopefully, you'll enjoy it. Something will resonate and you'll decide to join the community. Uh, we got a couple planets that are in retrograde right now. Uh, Mercury's in retrograde, Pluto's in retrograde, and Saturn is in retrograde. So I did retrograde readings for you guys. What I do is, um, because I um, I study astrology, I break it down in a sense where I look at where those planets are in your um, chart. So for example, uh, Saturn is in retrograde in, your, uh, in Aquarius, which is in your 10th house. Uh, Pluto's in retrograde in uh, Capricorn, which is your 9th house. Mercury is in retrograde in your second house, okay? And then uh, later on this month, there are two planets that are going in retrograde, Jupiter and, Sa and um, Jupiter and Neptune. They're both in the house of Pisces, which is your 11th house. So you got retrograde planets in your 9th, 10th, and 11th house uh, by the end of this month. So I'm going to do one for Jupiter for you guys. So make sure that you um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you haven't checked out those videos, check them out. Because what I do is I look at where it's at in your chart as far as what house it's in and how you may be experiencing these energies. So that way you are aware of, you know, what you may be experiencing so that you could be a little bit ahead of the game. You know, with everybody else going bonkers, you pretty much know what's going on. So you're, you know, pretty much stable in your um, decision making process. I started laying cards out and the video went off. So, you know, normally for those of you who are new, I don't like to um, have the cards ready. I only do that for uh, certain readings. Uh, but most readings, I shuffle the cards on camera for you. But my camera cut off. I don't know if it's Mercury retrograde or what. I got plenty of storage. But it cut off right as I was laying the cards out. So let's go over the cards. We have an overall energy here of judgment. This is Pluto energy. So um, as I was, uh, well, I won't say as I was saying, because you weren't around. <laughs> the video got deleted. So judgment, this is Pluto energy. Pluto is about power and control issues, you know, um, power struggles. So wherever you have Pluto in your chart, that's where you're going to be experiencing power struggles in your life. For you guys, uh, Pluto is in your uh, ninth house. All right, so the ninth house, <clears throat> for you, um, you're going to see this manifested in ways where you may be looking at your spiritual your spiritual religious beliefs you may be looking at your philosophies on life those those may be changing some of you may be um you know having issues or concerns with foreign travel some of you there could be some power and control issues in reference to your higher education your master's degree your phd some of you with publishing and writing because that is uh, also under the ninth house Okay, so there could be some power. Those are some of the major um, things in the higher mind. So some of you may be having some issues, you know, um, with the higher mind, it talks about basically being with, you know, obtaining wisdom. How do you obtain wisdom? You go through situations, you experience it, um, and you learn from it. And that's when, you know, after you learn from it, it turns into wisdom. Now, this is something you've experienced. So you can only gain wisdom from experience. So the things you experience, how you process them. They turn into wisdom. So this is also in the ninth house as well. So there could be some power struggles with you learning some lessons, turning things into wisdom. But let's see what's going on. So we have the six of swords in reverse, which is Aquarius energy. We have the four of cups in reverse, which is Cancer. We have the king of cups, which is Scorpio. We have the ace of pentacles, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, the next row, we have the major arcana of the devil. It came out in reverse, Capricorn energy. In the center of the reed, we have the Ten of Wands, which is Sag. We have another major arcana here in reverse, which is a planet that's in reverse, which is Saturn. Okay, it's in retrograde in your um, in your 10th house, which has to do with your career. So some of you may be experiencing some um, changes going on. Saturn deals with, uh, Saturn is father time. It tells us basically when it's time to switch up and do something different, change your routine, change your patterns. So with the... Uh, being at your 10th house, some of you could be changing your career, uh, you know, maybe applying for another job or realizing that you've hit the ceiling where you are or you've had it where you are. Maybe you want to do something different. Uh, some of you, it could be about your reputation, how people see you, your professional endeavors, your career achievements, things like that. 
Uh, it could also talk about, you know, just you, you, the way you plan things, you know, your goals, your life goals, things like that. We have the nine of swords in reverse here. That is, um, Gemini energy. And then the seven of wands reverse here, which is Leo. The final card is the Empress energy in reverse. This is your energy. Wow. Okay. So I guess they wanted me to focus on this Empress in reverse energy here. <laughs> I live near a hospital. So, uh, sorry about the noise. Um, <clears throat> so there's always ambulances coming in and out. That's why you hear it so much, especially if you're someone who subscribes to the channel. Like, damn, why every time I listen to her videos, there's a uh, sirens going off because I, I live near a hospital. Um, so with that being said, <laughs> let's get into your reading. So I feel like with the judgment energy here, you know, there's some power and control issues. And speaking of which, in the heart of the reading, we have the Ten of Wands. So this is all about a struggle of some sort, stress of some sort. OK, uh, and, you know, the Ten of Wands is Sagittarius energy. And it's interesting because uh, judgment is Pluto in there. Pluto is in. No. Uh, yeah, Pluto's in your ninth house, which is Sagittarius, the house of Sagittarius. So with the King of Cups in the in the Ace of Pentacles here, there could be somebody who um, wants a relationship. They want to work on a relationship, but I feel like somebody's been really stressed with this relationship it could be um, a marriage that you guys are currently in and I feel like you've done everything you could to work this relationship out but it, it, it's really stressful and I feel like I feel an energy of wanting to release because no matter what you're doing there's definitely power and control struggles with your relationship you could be changing as a person you could be going through an ascension uh, because with Taurus you know in your first house you have Uranus and Uranus is all about radical change now it doesn't mean that um you know, you're you're doing something negative. It just means that you're you're going through an ascension. You're changing your ideas, your thoughts, your views, your philosophy on life is changing. And so the people who are around you um, may be looking at you like you're different. Something's wrong with you or you're going through. You know what I mean? But the reality is, is you're ascending <clears throat> and some of these connections that you were in, you're realizing that, you know, they they are not beneficial to you anymore. So you're willing to put the um, with the Ten of Swords here. You're, you're, I'm sorry, the Ten of Wands, you're interested in putting this burden down. I mean, we have the Seven of Wands in reverse here, not wanting to fight for a connection. So there's somebody here doesn't want to let you go, is what I feel here, or you don't want to let a relationship go. I feel like because of financial dependence. See, when the Empress is in reverse, she's financially dependent upon someone. So I feel like that's part of the reason why um, some of you are... Um, not letting go of this connection or the person that you're with doesn't want to let go. Maybe you're the breadwinner and they don't want to let go of you. But I feel like they're only holding on because of the finances. Because here we go with the Ace of Pentacles here, okay? Um, on the other side of things here, I feel like somebody feels stuck. Um, but they're changing their perspective on things. They're realizing that this connection is very toxic. Um, and they're tired of dealing with it. So they're, they're not fighting for this connection anymore. Um, and, uh, in the end, it just boils down to money. Some of you could be married to this person. You may have children with them. Uh, but some of you, you could have just been in this relationship for at least 10 years because the Empress energy to me represents a very mature relationship that's been around for a while, at least 10 years. So I feel like that's what's going on with some of you. So I feel like for some of you, you're ready to let go of this relationship, but your partner is afraid to let you go. They don't want to let you go because they're holding on to you for money, for financial purposes. So let's see what these five cards here talk about. We'll do another spread here. So we have judgment energy, which we just went over your overall energy. Then we have the three of cups. Okay, Cancerian energy. We have another major arcana of the wheel. Okay, this is a cycle. Uh, we have the Five of Swords here, games being played in the Knight of Swords energy here, which is um, Gemini. The Five of Swords is Aquarius. So what's going on here is somebody's trying to, you know, they're making a decision to do what it is that they want to do. There's a power struggle here in this connection. Uh, somebody wants to reconnect. I feel like for some of you, you guys, um, you may have broken up with this person or you're on the verge of doing it. But they want to reunite with you because they want to continue this cycle. All right. But the thing is, is that it's a bunch of games and manipulation with the five of swords and the knight of swords. This person is basically not telling you that they want to keep you around because they're financially dependent upon you. That's what the issue is. So that's what this five of swords energy and this knight of swords is about. The five of swords is they're doing something strategic in reference to, OK, well, I know you want to leave or I know you left, but I want to come back to you because I'm comfortable with you financially because you're my wheel of fortune. Not only is this a cycle that we're in. 
you know, where the relationship is just not working, but we keep getting back together, breaking up, getting back together. Um, the power struggle involves the fact that someone is trying to keep someone around for the purposes of financial stability. All right. So that's what really is going on here. So, you know, if you're feeling the urge to leave this connection and you're the, you know, you're the one who's bringing in the money, then maybe you should consider leaving because this person is just basically keeping you around for finances. Um, you know, don't be mad at me. I'm just telling you what's in the cards. I'm not trying to be rude or mean or anything, but I'm a very direct person when I speak. So I'm just going to tell you what I see. Let's see what else we got for my Tauruses. What other messages do they need to hear? Shuffling the cards for you here. Messages for Taurus. What does Taurus need to hear? This one's going to be a five card spread and we're going to have an extended because we're going to dive into this a little bit deeper in the um, extended. So, uh, um, no. I was told no. Because there was one that turned over that I should have took and, and I don't remember which one came out. So, no. So, let's start again. Okay. So, yeah, there will be an extended. The link's in the box below. Mm-hmm. Yep. This is about money, my friend. Look at all these pentacles coming out. I'm going to put one more card out. We got, um, out of the five cards, three of them got pentacles in it. Overall energy here, the five of swords reversed. This wanted to come out again. Now, you heard me shuffling the cards, and you saw me shuffling as I was uh, tossing them out. Five of swords in reverse. Somebody's like, you know what? I'm going to end this charade. I'm going to end this game. I know this is all about somebody playing games. All right. Saturn is in Aquarius, right? And it's in retrograde there. So this is a this is Aquarius energy here. So Aquarius deals with like minded individuals, your social life, people that you, um, you know, relate to. And it could be in relationships. It could be family relationships, friends, whomever. But for some of you, this is a lover here. So you two are no longer on the same page. Saturn is in retrograde. So Saturn is telling you when it's in retrograde, it's time for something to end. It's time. Saturn is father time, right? So it's time for this connection to end. This is why the five of swords is in reverse, all right? So we have the eight of pentacles in reverse here. That's uh, Virgo energy. We have the ten of cups, which is Pisces. We have the six of pentacles in reverse, which is Taurus. That's you. All right, we have the page of pentacles, which is Capricorn. And then we have the page of wands, which is uh, Aries. Okay, so there could be some children involved in the scenario in the situation as well. Okay, because we do have the Ten of Cups where we have the, the two kids here. And then we have the two, this could be the two children here. It could be children who, I don't usually say this, but um, it's coming to me, so I'm going to say it. Uh, you could have a, a earth sign child uh, and a fire sign child. Okay. Uh, or, you know, this could represent your energy here, you know, because, you know, pages are either children or their initial thoughts about things. So I feel like this is where your head is at. So you're focused on the money. And if this is where this person is at, they're ready to move on. OK, so you could be the one who may want to keep this person around. And this person may be like, ah, I want something new. The current situation here is that with the eight of pentacles in reverse, somebody does not want to put work into this connection anymore. OK, with the eight of pentacles in reverse, this could also represent the fact that somebody's currently unemployed, not working. OK, the challenge is, is the ten of cups. The challenge is you two have a relationship together and or you could have children together. OK, or you could be married. Right. But the situation doesn't work for you anymore. OK, your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your ancestors, your higher self, you know, whomever you believe in, whoever you go to when you are um, needing advice, who's not in a physical form, is telling you to keep in mind this uh, Six of Pentacles energy here. So this is an energy of someone taking advantage of someone, someone getting over on someone, okay? Uh, this could also represent that somebody could be involved with someone else too, but they're, they're involved with this person because they're getting something from them. Pentacles could represent money. They could represent physical energy in the form of sex, or, you know, just somebody being around, draining your energy, always around, annoying you, getting on your nerves, aggravating you with this type of shit right here. Okay. And the upright. So they could be draining your energy that way. Um, but this also, uh, to me, pentacles could also represent loyalty. Okay. So someone's definitely being disloyal here. This is what the universe wants you to know. 
<clears throat> this is what your spirit guides want you to know. So they could be telling you that intuitively. Because this could be your intuition going off about this person. So in your head, you're like, oh, yeah, they all about the money. Okay. So you know what? I definitely want out because I'm not going to be played anymore. Because look what cards come after this. We have the, the, the Five of Swords reverse, the Magician in reverse. All right. This is someone who has negative intent. Okay. Uh, the Two of Swords come out in reverse. This is someone who could be two-faced or they're doing what's best for them. All right. And then the Ace of Cups here. Okay. So this person is telling you, okay, I love you. I want to be with you. Okay, but with the Six of Wands in reverse here, they could be dealing with other people. This person could be talking bad about you behind your back. I feel like there's there's an energy here of somebody dealing with someone else. Okay, especially with the Two of Swords reverse, the Six of Swords reverse, and the Six of Pentacles reverse. I feel like your person is dealing with someone else, and if they are, they're dealing with them for money, or they're keeping you around while they're meeting someone else uh, to deal with that person for money. Again, the emperor is in reverse here. Well, not again, but the emperor is in reverse this time. Remember, in the last spread, the empress was in reverse. So this is an energy here <clears throat> of two people who are not happy, two people who are not loyal to each other with the emperor and the empress in reverse. Uh, one person wants to go. The other person, um, they only want to keep the other person around because of financial means. We got the two of cups in reverse here. Yeah, somebody's just totally not interested in this relationship anymore. Uh, there's a lot of fighting and arguing here. Somebody may have had clouded vision about the situation uh, and may not have realized that this person was playing them or that they really wanted to leave. What could also be going on as well is there could have been a, um, a third party situation here with the Empress in it, High Priestess in reverse. Um, and so this could be revealed or it could have come out. Otherwise, it's just someone didn't realize that someone was playing them. Someone wasn't, it wasn't that they didn't realize that they weren't listening to their intuition. Their vision or judgment could have been blocked as well. Okay, uh, but now I feel like this person gets it because this is your intuition telling you, hey, okay, I need to get out of this situation. I need to move on because here's the queen of pentacles in reverse. Here's the four of pentacles in reverse. The queen of pentacles in reverse is an energy of someone who um, gives everything they have to a connection and they're taken advantage of. Uh, this is the type of person who um, a man or a woman will use them for everything. They'll use them for sex. They'll use them for money. This is the type of person who will let you come and stay in their house. They'll feed you. They'll clothe you. They'll put money in your pocket. And um, they'll have sex with you. Um, they'll, like, give you everything. So they put you in a position where you could easily use them, right? And with the Four of Pentacles right next to it in reverse, this Four of Pentacles energy is an energy sometimes of someone who is looked at as a sucker, because when you're upright, you're guarded. You're protecting your energy. You're protecting your money. You're protecting your resources. In reverse, you're not protecting it. So you're open, right? So you got these two cards back to back. And you got the um, high priestess in reverse here. So somebody's definitely um, has clouded judgment about the situation. But justice is ringing through. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the um, extended and get more detail on this. Because there's definitely a breakup going on, and it definitely is because someone realizes that they're being played, okay? So uh, with that being said, if this resonated with you at all, Taurus, feel free to click the like button. If you want to leave a comment on how it resonates, feel free to do so. I love to read the comments, but the comments are strictly for if the reading resonates, okay? If there's any complaints or negative energy in the comments, I'm going to um, delete it and I'm going to block you. Uh, so if you want to follow along with the extended, the link's in the box below. Feel free to check it out. Otherwise, I will see you in the next reading. Take care.